God in his holy place, God who unites those who dwell in his house, he himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather together and prepare ourselves for the Eucharist, we first recognize the times that we have sinned. We turn to God and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again. Making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord? Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the high God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes, in the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it to shore, and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous, and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. 
Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. It's nice to continue on with some of these images uh, that we ha- we've been going through, that we are the garden and that we are keeping our, our hearts and our souls supple, that God can implant his seed, and that when he brings the rain, it allows it to grow. Part of it as well, then, is from Jeremiah, this idea of the potter, of we as the clay in the hands of the potter. And we are keeping ourselves soft so we can be molded by God so that he can form us into what he wants us to become. And throughout our lives, we keep attempting to kind of mold ourselves and the shape never kind of works right because we can't step back and see uh, the big picture. We can't see how it's all going to end up. But as the rain comes only from God, so the shape that we take comes only from God. And we participate when we say yes, when we allow ourselves to be molded. Then we come into the right use, the right shape, and everything works out. What does this mean in particular? Uh, If we have had certain larger life paths already decided, certain vocations already set, the primary vocation of holiness for all, the next vocation of, of kind of the path in life, Uh, My priesthood, I can't allow myself to continue to be molded as far as that goes. It has already been fired and set. And so the only way I can get out of that is kind of by breaking it, and that is not good. But when we look at our life paths, looking into the, the ways each day we can be molded to respond to people, So in the the secondary vocation, then, if we are married, our vocation is always to try to get our spouse into heaven. How can we bring about their holiness? If we are single now, how can we live a life of service to those that God brings into our sight? How can we pray for those in need wherever he wants us to do that? So constantly, each day, we've got different ways of being molded, of being supple, of being open to others and being able to answer their needs for where they are at, not demanding that they meet us, but rushing out to meet them. Stay open to what God asks of you in the big picture. But for most of us, that is set. And so each day, stay molded and ready for whatever it is God that asks of you to be for other people. As members of the body of Christ, let us lift our prayers to our Heavenly Father for all our needs. For the Church, may she be continually blessed with an abundance of divine goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in the world who seek the truth, may the Holy Spirit bring them to know Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from the loss of a loved one, may our crucified Lord lift them up in their time of sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. For the young people of our parish community, may God guide and protect them amid the pressures in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they rest in the loving embrace of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the people of the parish, the intention of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer this day through your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. those unable physically to receive the Eucharist, you can still receive the fullness of the graces of the Blessed Sacrament by making a spiritual communion. Please repeat after me this prayer written by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.